What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Steven. This is Steven and Stereo and in today's video we're diving into more of The Warning. I am a little bit obsessed with this band at this time. I'm having such a great time discovering all this beauty that they bring to this heavy genre. I love the mix of hard rock and just so many melodic sounds. The riffs are incredible. The vocals are incredible. What more can I want? So in today's video we're gonna be checking out the song More and yeah, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe to the channel so you guys don't miss any more of my reactions to the warning. Uh, you guys know when I really get into a band because I just start fucking posting so many videos about them because I just want to listen to more. That's the way this shit works. So I'm excited to dive into the song more. Let's go. Fuck. Yeah, I love a verse. Uh, yeah, I love a verse like this where it kind of starts out slow. We're really building up the sound, right? And you can hear when things kind of change a little bit going into this little pre-chorus moment. I think that's so sick. That guitar comes in. I'm also a big fan of the fact that like this chorus, it's it's super big, super heavy, right? These guitar riffs are really interesting in the back. Like I, I feel like they would sound weird to somebody who maybe doesn't listen to this genre too often. Like you hear these like wah, 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 right? But listen to it in context, it's so fucking sick. Oh, that's so sick. I love the fucking uh, whatever effects are being used on that bass right there, whatever pedals are being used. It sounds so dirty, so nasty, almost it could almost give a guitar tone, which I think is one of the really cool things kind of happening here is it's kind of playing both roles here. If you notice, the verse doesn't have a lot of guitar on its own, which is like, you know, super interesting, especially when you have three people, you're you're figuring out how to work these things. It's I personally like to see how the machine is working, you know? Like, I think that's why these verses are so good. You've got these like, dr it's just basically a drum and bass section. It's so sick. Let's go. Dude, like you got to think about, okay, again, it's three people in a group, right? So like you got a lot of a lot of instrumental pieces to cover, but you can do it. You can hear them. They're doing it even with sections like that bass, right? There's something there, but what's really cool is at the same time, they also, I haven't heard a lot of the bass players sing. I believe I have heard like little pieces, like especially in the harmonies, but like I've heard the drummer sing, obviously the main vocalist, but like for me, I hear all of those pieces and I'm like, Oh my God, like you could do whatever. Like y'all have so many bases covered in, in a band where I, you could be doing the same thing with eight people, right? So there's something to be said about having artists 
having bands that have members that are multi-talented because that comes out in so many levels. Like I always wanted to be the person. I'm not that person, but I always wanted to be the person that like I got in a music room and I sat down and like I could just grab any instrument and kind of riff on it and be kind of good. Um, imagine if like you could do that, but then also you're like in this fucking awesome band. Like what the fuck? Okay, hold on. I'm going to go back just a little bit. I'm probably so annoying, but this I heard this little guitar riff right here and I need to hear it again. Oh yeah, dude, that's so sick. That transition. Oof. Oh. She has so much power in her voice. Holy shit. This has got to be one of my favorite bands right now. No bullshit. Dude, every single song I've listened to them so far makes me like them more. Sometimes there's artists that I listen to and like I hear another song and I'm like, it just like kind of like reestablishes how I feel about that artist. But then there's times when I like hear an artist fucking awesome and then the more that i listen to the more i become fans of that artist i think this happens on my channel a lot just because i think this is what most people experience with music would be if they were doing what i did where you got to just sit around and listen to all these new types of music all day and give your opinion on them this is what happens it turns out there's a lot of artists that i would love if i had just listened to them for the first time you know what i mean and this is another great example the warning delivers things that i love about music cross genre all kind of delivered into one you know i talk about this a lot when it comes to when it comes to pop punk because like there's a lot of artists that have kind of like reinvigorated pop punk and like you know reestablished it and alternative rock and stuff and i love that but like there's also a place for like melodic hard rock with like really great fucking verses and choruses right and like i'm so glad to hear the warning doing that in their way i think it's so cool to be able to create this sound with just three people that's i mean that's a feat on its own like there's so much going on here but i also love the intricacies that come with that for example the bass riff in this could have definitely just been a guitar a rhythm guitar with enough distortion playing some palm muted notes it could have been very similar but the fact that they save that for those much higher um like chords that were being ran i think that is such a fucking cool thing and that is one of those small things that i pick up on with this group every time i watch it i see more and more kind of coming to life with that and i love that this track in particular one of the things that one of the things that kind of like really gets me stoked is that verse that drum and bass section it, it's just fucking bass and drums that's literally what it is but we're building a verse out of that we're building so much emotion and so much power that when it goes into that pre-chorus and you hear that kind of come in and then that chorus drops you know it's gonna be fucking sick there's also a moment in that bridge um right at the end when they're kind of like you know hitting that last little thing before it transitions into this next section of the song do 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 so sick it reminded me of like some old cky the the point i'm trying to make is that the warning just I feel like they really present a lot of the things I love from these styles of music coming to life. So it's why I'm listening to them so much right now. I don't know anything about this group other than the songs that we've watched and the one live performance that we've watched. But I can sh I can tell you that in that little handful of performances, they have absolutely grabbed my attention and I'm still here looking for more no pun intended. I'm sorry. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you guys smash the like subscribe to the channel. I will see y'all all in the next one. Peace.